Trump is again insisting that he can win the state of New York, a Democratic stronghold, as he held a rally in Uniondale on New York's Long Island. He ripped into Democratic leadership in New York City in the state, blaming them for homeless people living in what he called horrible, disgusting, dangerous, filthy encampments. What the hell do you have to lose, he said in asking for their votes. Trump lost New York to Democrat Joe Biden by more than 20 points in 2020. Trump also said he plans in the next two weeks to visit Springfield, Ohio, that's been the center of false accusations from the former president and his running mate, J.D. Vance, that members of the city's Haitian community are abducting and eating cats and dogs. Trump also said he plans to visit Aurora, Colorado, where he says a Venezuelan street gang with a small presence in the city has taken over a rundown apartment complex. Aurora police say that's not the case. And I'm thrilled to be back in the state I love with thousands of proud patriotic New Yorkers who are really the heart and soul of America. We know that. And the reason I'm here is because it hasn't been done in many decades. It hasn't been done for a long time, but we are going to win New York. But look at what has happened to New York and the other states, all run by radical left Democrats, every single one of them. Our heavy industries have exported overseas and our middle class has been eviscerated, right here at home, been eviscerated. Housing costs are out of control. Inflation has cost a typical family $28,000. Think of it, in less than four years, $28,000. And we filthy encampments. We have horrible, disgusting, dangerous, filthy encampments. What those veterans, when they watch this, must be saying, but listen to this, can you also imagine what the migrants must be thinking? They're saying, can you believe this? We just came from a place, in many cases, they were in prisons, and now they're living in hotel suites while our veterans are living on the street. And so I say to the people of New York, with crime at record levels, with terrorists and criminals pouring in, and with inflation eating your hearts out, vote for Donald Trump. What the hell do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? How about in Springfield, Ohio? They had 32,000. This is a little beautiful town. No crime, no problem. 32,000. Illegal immigrants come into the town, 32. So they almost doubled their population in a period of a few weeks. Can you believe it? And you know what? They've got to get much tougher. I'm going to go there in the next two weeks. I'm going to Springfield and I'm going to Aurora. You may never see me again, but that's okay. Got to do what I got to do. Former President Donald Trump on Tuesday made his first public appearance since Sunday's second apparent assassination attempt against him with an overflow crowd chanting, God bless Trump. And, fight, 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 as U.S. Secret Service agents surrounded the stage to protect the Republican presidential nominee. If I don't win, you will have no auto industry, said Trump. Within two to three years, it'll all be gone. And I know you got a little bit of an increase. It doesn't mean that's the small stuff because it's just a temporary thing, because you will not have any manufacturing plants. China is going to take over all of your business because of the electric car and because they have the material. We don't. What we have is a thing called the gasoline. We have gasoline. We have so much gasoline, we don't know what to do. They don't have gasoline. So why are we making a product that they dominate? They're going to dominate. You will not have a car industry left, 
not even a little bit of a car industry. The Michigan Town Hall was billed as focusing on the auto industry, a pillar of the battleground state. Trump alleged Democrats would undercut American car manufacturing by pushing for the adoption of electric vehicles and repeated false claims that Chinese automakers are building large factories across the border in Mexico to flood the U.S. with vehicles. Trump has appearances later in the week in New York, Washington, D.C., and North Carolina. And I, I have to say, because I've, I have to, while we're on the subject, because people do like to talk about it, uh, a few days ago we had an incident. I have to say, Secret Service did a hell of a job. If I don't win, you will have no auto industry within two to three years. It'll all be gone. And I know you got a little bit of an increase. It doesn't mean that's the small stuff because it's just a temporary thing because you will not have any manufacturing plants. China is going to take over all of your business because of the electric car and because they have the material. We don't. What we have is a thing called gasoline. We have gasoline. We have so much gasoline, we don't know what to do. They don't have gasoline. So why are we making a product that they dominate? They're going to dominate. You will not have a car industry left, not even a little bit of a car industry. This will be the most fun of any state because we're going to bring back an industry that you can do it. You know, we're going to bring back an industry. And, and mark my words, if for some reason some tragedy happens, because it would be a tragedy beyond the auto business for the whole country, I really believe that. If a tragedy happens and we don't win, there will be zero car jobs, manufacturing jobs. It will all be out of here. And that includes South Carolina. That includes other places that are competitors of yours. You won't be making cars here anymore. You won't be making anything in our country anymore. We're going to bring it all back. But the one, and I say this, and I said it to another state the other night, and I said, this is not a good thing to say to another state. But I said, Michigan's going to be the most fun because you have, you're so set up for greatness. All you need is somebody smart at the top to say, you can't flood our market with cars. You just can't do it. However, if you build your plant in Detroit, or if you build it in Michigan, or if you build it anywhere in the United States, for that matter, it seems to be the right location. But we're going to have more fun. So I'm telling them about Michigan, and I'm saying, you know, the story's getting a little bit long because I'm talking about Michigan. I happen to be in another state, but everybody loved it because they know you. You're recognized for this. We're going to get... Now, they go from paying 100% tariff to paying nothing. All they have to do is build their factory and spend their hundreds of millions of dollars in your state. This will be like taking candy from a baby.